All I need is good energy. I don't need this episode is proudly sponsored by Rahma's Kitchen. If you are interested in sponsoring, please DM us on Instagram. The run of Barrow, he's picked him out. It's brilliant. All about the field. Tough team, Jared. The defense, the defense. Have added that. Oh, the mistake. The defense. Barrow. Barrow. How the Barrow does it. Oh. Hi, welcome to another episode of Joe Danza podcast. I'm your host, Mohammed Jabal Torre, and my co-host, Omar Hamza Torre. Today we have a very, very special guest, Gambia's finest number ten. Please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Musa Baro and I'm uh, really happy to be invited in this podcast. Welcome to the Jamza podcast. How are you today? I'm good, alhamdulillah. And you? Yeah. What team do you currently play for? I play for Al Taun uh, Football Club here in Saudi Arabia. How are you finding life in Saudi Arabia? Alhamdulillah, life here in Saudi is great. Um, I'm enjoying the life. So able to practice my my religion, Islam, and like is a for me is a great experience coming here in Saudi League. So I'm really enjoying it. Who was your favorite player growing up? My favorite player growing up was Zidane Zidane because I played as a midfield before and I love watching him play. So I always want to play like him. I remember when I was young, one time I did the same hairstyle like Zidane. <laughs> so I really like uh, like his way of football. So he was my idol. I love him very much. What team did you support as a kid? As a kid, of course, Real Madrid. <laughs> I like Real because of Zidane. Messi or Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, I I think this is the most asked question in the football world. For me, I like Ronaldo because oh, of the hard work, you know. No. Because of the hard work, he worked hard to earn everything, you know. Messi is a natural gift, you know. But no, Messi no. is better than Ronaldo because he has a natural, you know, natural talent. Ronaldo worked hard to compete Messi, but I go for Ronaldo. But although Messi has more Ballon d'Or than Ronaldo. So. My favorite Gambian sport is uh, Yasa because anytime I go back home, my mom cooks Yasa, also Domada. I love every Gambian dish, you know. Can you sing a little bit in Mandinka? Of course. Uh, you know, I love Mandinka. I'm a Mandinka, I love Mandinka music. Also, a world of music. But as a Mandinka, you know, you have so many. Singers like S.T. Hussein, Jizu, also them attack the singing in all of, you know, so many artists. Buddy Bunker, I grew up with Buddy Bunker, you know, he is, he is like older brother to me. I was, I was always around with this younger brother, so I love both Mandinka, all of music in Gambia, like, I listen to every Gambian music, the Nyanchos, the Gambian child, like, everyone. Everyone, I listen to them. You want me to sing in Mandinka? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna choose this song. Let me say, SD. I'm gonna choose this song. SD. I need no more. I don't want. I don't want. I need no more. I need no more. I need no more. I need no Congratulations in qualifying for AFCON again, again. Are you looking forward to the tournament and what are your expectations this year? Of course, uh, I'm looking forward to the tournament. After the last one, uh, for the first time we qualified for, for the African Cup of Nations last time and we went all the way to quarter final. We are looking forward to this one and trying to do better than last African Cup of Nations. Because as a footballer and representing your nation, you want to you want to raise the flag, the flag of the nation to the high height. So we are looking forward to it. And I have one more game in the national, in the pro league. 
Saudi Pro League. After that, I'm gonna start preparation with the national team. Looking forward to to play the African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast. Inshallah, we gonna we gonna train hard and work hard and see what Allah has for us. What message do you have for the Gambian fans? Gambian fans to continue to believe, to support, and to support like uh, the team, not individually, you know. To support the team and to to have patience and always believe, because no one ever thought Gambia could uh, qualify for the African Cup of Nations for the first time, the last Af uh, African Cup of Nations, and now we did it again. So let them continue to believe and support. Inshallah. We're gonna see what Allah has for us. What advice do you have for young upcoming footballers like us? Uh, education, hard work, and uh, always listen to your prayers. That's the key. Thank you for joining us on the, on the Jamza podcast. We appreciate you coming. Bye. My pleasure, man. Bye, bye. Ciao, ciao. It's a terrible. <laughs> Insecticide, if I did come on, I'm going to have a little bit of a 